Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. So it is October. I know this video may air at a different time in your life, but um, it's almost October, so I'm making some projects that all include pink in them for breast cancer awareness. I'm a breast cancer survivor myself, so I believe it's really important to get the word out there. You need to get out there and do your mammograms, men and women. Uh, I know men who have had breast cancer also, so please get out there and get screened, all right? So today we're gonna do a pour through a regular glass that has a shot glass inside, kind of like when you go to the bar and you order a balm. Well, that's what we're doing today, but we're going to have pinks on the inside for breast cancer awareness and black around the outside. Stay with me, this will be fun. All right, so as usual, my canvas is prepared with tape on the back, push down tight and push pins. I like to have the push pins to elevate my canvas so that I can clean it up from any flow over. If you let your sides keep dripping, sometimes it'll pull the design from the front and it'll just keep dripping, so you don't want that. Um, got a little bit of crookedness here going, hold on. Paint that I'm using today, I'm using a little bit of Deco Art Berry Folk Art Champagne mixed together to make a purplish pink. And I love these Sax Metallics. You've seen them in a lot of my other videos. I have that mixed together with some white pearl to make a lighter pink. And then I'm going to just use the Sax Red also in my cup. So I think I want to have a little bit of my champagne only come out last. So just a little bit. Now some of these have a little bit of bubbles in them. I mixed them up kind of quickly so I can get our video started. My neighbors all think I'm a little crazy talking to myself in my art studio when my windows are open. So no particular order, dark pink, light pink, tiny bit of red. And I'm going to fill the inside cup up to the top, as you can see. And then I'm going to put my black around the outside edge. All my paints mixed a little bit liquidy. This is enough paint that I don't want to start with the background on it. I'm going to go ahead and do this like a flip cup. Let me move everything out of the way. I'm going to actually elevate this side of the canvas before I get started. Let's see if that's going to be enough. That should be good. All right, so I'm doing this like a flip cup, so I'm actually going to turn this onto this side, flip it over, put it on my little elevated canvas, and then let me move, <laughs> make sure you're in screen. So you can see my little cup inside there, right? All right, we're just going to start releasing it. 
We're going to just release it all at once. Let it run down. Ready? And here we go. I'm going to pull that back. Ooh, look at this. That's how that poured out. Big bubbles. Now you can use your heat gun to get rid of bubbles, or you can use a torch. Now that was using a torch. This is a heat gun. This is like a, for scrapbooking. I use this sometimes if I'm doing uh, embossing. But for paint, it actually helps to heat the paint and let the bubbles come up through. So let's do that. See how the bubbles are coming? And some of the paint coming. So this is a lot of paint, so I do need to get some of it off of here. So we'll stretch a little bit this way. I've seen a piece of something in my black there. interesting pattern. I'm hoping that because the, the paint is a little runny, I'm hoping that it kind of mixes a little more. So this is the final piece. I love it. It almost looks like smoke. Um, to me, man, it represents the pink breast cancer hope and the black despair that I felt during cancer treatments. Um, so it is a beautiful piece. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me bring you in and show you some of the little details. Just amazed. So I hope this piece dries as well. All right. And once again, thank you for watching.